Hello everyone and welcome to another All Signs reading. I have linked the timestamps in the description box down below. So all you have to do is hit the description box and you'll see the timestamps linked down below. Also too, starting January 1st, 2024, I will be releasing additional tarot card readings on my second YouTube channel called Milagros Tarot Plus. It's also in the description box down below. So if you do want to receive more All Sign readings from me, collective readings or pick a card readings from me, definitely subscribe to my second YouTube channel because I'll be doing all of that on that channel. But hopefully your reading today helps you hopefully it resonates with you hopefully it brings the clarity that you're looking for today and i will see you guys in your next reading bye hello pisces someone rising and venus and welcome to your reading let's see who's coming towards you within the month of january 2024 who's coming towards pisces within the month of january 2024 okay so you have the ten of wands you got the high priestess we also have the queen of cups to the chariot and the six of swords to the eight of cups now in regards to who's coming towards you whoever this person is pisces it's somebody who still does have a lot of emotions for you it kind of looks like there was an ending though that occurred between you and this person and it kind of looks like senses ending occurred here between you and them i feel like they've been giving you the silent treatment you've kind of been giving them the silent treatment um, but nonetheless, even though there's currently a silent treatment going on here between you and this person, this is somebody who still does have a lot of emotions here for you. It kind of looks like this person tried. It kind of looks like this person tried to like forget about you and move forward and move on with their life. But with the Ten of Wands coming out here, I feel like that was a very challenging and difficult thing for this person to do due to the fact that there was still a very strong and intense emotional attachment here that this person has. Um, so with that being said, I kind of feel like because there's still a very strong and intense emotional attachment that this person has um, towards you, I feel like that's what's prompting this person to resurface back up here for you all over again. Let's look at the chariot because I feel like this is them taking action in your direction. We have the Seven of Pentacles, we have the uh, Three of Wands, we got the Four of Wands, and then we also have the Star. The reason for this person's return is quite obvious. I feel like this person wants to pick up where they left off with you. They want to heal things here with you. They want to leave the past in the past um, and bring this connection back together all over again. I'm kind of curious to see how you're going to respond and react to this. How is Pisces going to respond and react to this? I do kind of feel like you're going to be a little bit taken back by this person's return. It's like this person's just magically reappearing here for you out of nowhere. I kind of see you being on the fence about letting this person back into your life all over again. And I kind of feel like it has a lot to do with this tower moment that occurred here between you and this person. Whatever causes, you know, relationship to fall apart here between you and this person. Um... Is something that's still kind of weighing um, very heavily, I would say, at the back of your mind here. So with that being said, when they do resurface back up here for you out of the blue, I kind of see you being on the fence about letting them back in. And it is kind of staying from a place of, well, if I let them back in, what if this happens again? What if that happens again? What else can you tell me for Pisces? Yeah, so it kind of looks like, it kind of looks like you haven't, officially i would say made peace with this tower moment that transpired here between you and them and whatever caused this tower moment here between you and them you still haven't moved past it just yet you're still angry and upset with them and you're still very much so hurt over whatever it is that they said and or did to cause this relationship to go south here between the two of you but the bottom of the deck we do have the king of cups we also have the two of wands as well as the um Two of Swords, let's talk. Um, you're going to find yourself experiencing a battle between what your mind is telling you to do and what your heart is telling you to do. I feel like your mind is telling you, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. But I feel like your heart is telling you, well, maybe you should just give them another chance. You are showing up as a King of Cups, regardless of your gender. Male or female does not matter. We all have masculine and feminine energy within us, so don't get caught up in the gender. But despite the fact that they did what they did, right? This is somebody that you still do have a lot of love for. Just like this is somebody who still has a lot of love for you there's still a lot of love here right between you and this person but because there's still a lot of love here that you have for this person i feel like your heart is telling you maybe you should just give them another chance and see how life plays out right between you and this person this time around but because your mind is telling you don't do it don't do it don't do it you're kind of falling into this indecisive energy of 
well, what should I do? Should I take them back or should I not take them back? Um, and I've been saying this a lot in my readings. I don't recommend that any of us go based off of what our mind wants us to do or what our heart wants us to do because both things are capable of basically deceiving us. One thing that will not deceive us is our intuition. So when this person does resurface back up here for you, if they haven't already, Pisces, it's really important that you connect to your intuition and go based off of what your intuition is telling you. But be prepared for what your intuition has to tell you especially because you're showing up as a king of cups king of cups is basically telling me that you have a very strong intense emotional attachment to this one just like they have a very strong intense emotional attachment to you so be prepared for what your intuition has to really say about all of this because if it's one thing about your intuition is this your intuition doesn't care how much you love them your intuition doesn't care how cute they are how much money they make uh, or the history you guys have with one another your intuition doesn't care about all of that your intuition is here to guide you and protect you if your intuition turns around and tells you pisces no, don't take this person back. Keep moving forward and keep moving on with your life. This person's no good for you. That might be a very difficult pill to swallow, especially because you're showing up as the King of Cups, okay? So just be prepared for when you do connect to your intuition. Um, just be prepared for what your intuition has to tell you in regards to this decision that you have to make. Definitely connect to your intuition because your intuition is going to lead you in the right direction. Just be prepared for what your intuition has to say because your intuition might tell you something that you don't want to hear. Your intuition might tell you, you know what, Pisces, you got to leave this one over here alone for good. Like, seriously leave this one alone for good or your intuition might tell you to give this person another chance you know that's definitely a possibility um any advice let's see what your overall advice is mm. oh pisces we have the seven of swords we got the five of pentacles and then we have the nine of swords and then we also have the emperor this is something to just kind of take into consideration when it comes down to this decision that you have to make i couldn't help but to kind of notice how much you drastically changed the moment this ending occurred here between you and them it kind of looks like you drastically changed for the better it kind of looks like you drastically changed for the better I just don't feel like your relationship, Pisces, with this person was healthy at all. I mean, it makes sense because we do have the tower out here and the tower is linked to the devil, which basically describes a very un a very toxic and unhealthy environment or relationship. Your relationship with this person was extremely toxic and unhealthy. I feel like um, it brought a lot of like fear and worry into your life. With the Seven of Swords, that's telling me that you didn't really trust this person either. I'm also kind of getting that point is Pisces is that the moment you broke free from this connection I feel like your peace of mind was restored I feel like a lot of things were actually restored I feel like you started drastically changing but I feel like you started drastically changing for the better so it's just something to kind of take into consideration here uh when it comes down to this decision that you have to make you know take some time to acknowledge how much you've actually drastically changed for the better since this ending occurred here between you and this person because I feel like your relationship with this person it was making you spiral out of control and it was drastically changing you but not in a positive way it was drastically changing you in a negative way you know because the nine of swords it represents stress it represents worry it represents fear you know seven of swords you know it could definitely imply that you know, you didn't fully trust this person while you were with this person. With the Five of Pentacles, this could represent, you know, feeling insecure. It's basically like a feeling of inadequacy, right? Um, I just don't feel like this relationship made you feel good at all. I don't. I really, really don't. And I feel like the moment you broke free from this, I feel like a lot of things were restored here. Your confidence was restored. Your peace of mind was restored. A lot of things were restored here for you the moment you broke free from this connection. So it's just something to kind of take into consideration. But like I said, once this person does resurface back up here for you, Pisces, it's really important that you connect to your intuition. Forget about what your mind is telling you. Forget about what your heart is telling you. Forget about all of that because both things are capable of deceiving you. One thing that will not deceive you, like I said, Pisces, is your intuition. And you're Pisces. You guys are very intuitive people. So it's not that hard for you guys to connect to your intuition. Just be prepared for what your intuition has to say to you. Um, and listen, it might tell you, listen, 
leave this one over here alone for good, like for the rest of your life, please, right? And that's just something that, you know, I highly recommend that you do if that's what your intuition is telling you because your intuition is never going to um, lead you in the wrong direction ever, ever. Your mind will and your heart definitely will, uh, but your intuition never will. So just keep that in mind, Pisces, all right? So that's what I have for you. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated and I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye. Hello, Scorpios, Sun and Rising, and Venus, and welcome to your reading. Let's see who's coming towards you within the month of January 2024. Who's coming towards Scorpio within the month of January 2024? Okay, come on, come on. You got the lovers. For some of you, you could be dealing with a Gemini, possibly. Okay, let's see who's coming towards you, Scorpio. Okay. Whoever this person is that's coming towards you, it does kind of come off to me as like a fairly new new person is kind of what I'm getting primarily off of this person's overall energy. It kind of looks like this person recently experienced a divorce, possibly even a breakup, but I feel like this person um, is realizing that somebody's done with them for good. Someone's done with them for good and they have to really, 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 really move forward and move on with their life this time around, which is kind of making me feel like this person was in a very on and off relationship with someone prior to obviously meeting you. But yeah, it looks like you're going to be meeting someone new who just recently got out of a marriage or a relationship that they were, you know, very on and off, you know, with that person. But something happened here between these two that's leading them to think like, oh, man, such and such is really done with me for good. Like, I have to really move forward and move on with my life now is kind of what I'm getting off of this person's overall energy. Okay. Now, with the hermit coming out here, um, I kind of feel like after this ending occurred here between these two, not only did they realize that, okay, this person's really done with me for good. I have to really move forward and move on with my life, like for real this time. I kind of feel like they spent a while um, just deciding to kind of be single and just kind of like focus on them and their overall healing. It doesn't look like they put themselves out there right away is kind of what I'm getting. But it kind of looks like this person's going to reach this point of feeling like they're ready to put themselves out there, like they're ready to start meeting new people and seeing new people. And I feel like that's when this person's going to basically stumble across you, okay? Now, I really wanna look a little bit more into the lovers to see what else I can get here. Tell me more about the lovers. We have the Queen of Swords, we have the King of Swords, and then we also have the Empress. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Three of Swords with the king of pentacles to the sun and then we also have the queen of pentacles to ten of swords i feel like this person is gonna talk to you a lot about this previous relationship that they were in and i feel like it's going to send you into this state of confusion which is really really interesting i feel like it's going to send you into the state of confusion in other words when you do meet this person right Scorpio, if you haven't already, you're going to look at them like, oh my God, like they're the perfect guy. They're the perfect girl. Like, why would this queen leave them? I don't understand. Why would this queen leave them? Why would they leave them? Why would they leave them? This makes no freaking sense to me. Um, They seem like such a good guy. They seem like such a good girl. I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. Um, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. Okay. I kind of feel like when this person does start talking to you, Scorpio, about this ex of theirs, they're going to basically leave out the parts that make them look bad to basically impress you. In other words, they're going to sit here and make this queen uh, seem like, you know, they're the bad guy in all of this is kind of what I'm getting. Um, when I don't believe that they are. I mean, look at this, you guys. This queen has a ten of swords attached to them. This king has the three of swords attached to them. So this is just basically letting us know right now that these two have inflicted a lot of pain upon each other. Okay, so this is true. Nobody in this relationship was totally innocent. I feel like this queen has done a lot of things, but I feel like this king has done a lot of things too. I just kind of feel like this king has put this queen through far worse than this queen has ever put this king through is basically what I'm getting. Don't get me wrong. I feel like this queen has definitely done things to hurt this king, but I feel like this king has done far more to this queen because they have the Ten of Swords attached to them. This king has the Three of Swords attached to them. So yes, these two did inflict a lot of pain upon each other, but I feel like this king kind of pushed this queen over the edge to the point where they just kind of reached that point of, you know what, I can't do this anymore with you. It's kind of what I'm getting. 
but are they going to sit here and tell you listen Scorpio like I really put this queen through hell and back uh absolutely not this person is not gonna say anything to you that's gonna make them look bad in your eyes okay they're just they're just not gonna do it but I am kind of getting like an overall energy of you being a little bit confused you know because you're looking at this person like oh my god like they seem like such a good guy. Oh my God, like what was this queen thinking by leaving them and things like that? You know what I mean? But I feel like as time goes on, I feel like you're going to realize um, why this queen actually left them. And I feel like it's things that you're going to witness for yourself throughout the course of your involvement with them is kind of what I'm getting. So in the beginning, I see you being blown away by them in the beginning. You know, I see you looking at them like, oh my God, like this one might be the one for me and, you know, things like that. But I feel like the more you get to know this person, the more you're going to start to see for yourself like, oh, that's why such and such left them. Got it. You know what I mean? Let's look at this king. Tell me more about this king of pentacles. We have the star, okay? We have the um, knight of swords, and then we also have the uh, seven of cups. Mm. Scorpio, be very careful with this person um, because I kind of feel like, how do I see this? How do I see this? I kind of feel like there's still a lot of emotions here that this person has for this Queen of Pentacles. Now, I'm going to be honest. This person can have all of the emotions in the world for this Queen of Pentacles if they want to. But the likelihood of this Queen of Pentacles taking them back is at an all-time low. They don't want them back. In other words, this Queen does not pose a threat to your relationship with this person or anything like that. I don't see this Queen resurfacing back up here for them. I don't. Um, I feel like they're throwing their hands up here with this King. It kind of looks like they don't really want anything to do with them anyways, but just be careful because I feel like this king still has a lot of emotions here for this queen. Um, I feel like this king is a little bit confused as to why things just didn't work out here between these two uh, which is kind of making me feel like this person is kind of oblivious to all the pain that they actually cause this queen uh, which is not necessarily a good sign to be completely honest. I mean it's just, it's just not right. Cause I feel like this King has caused this queen of pentacles, a lot of pain, but I don't feel like they're taking time to honestly acknowledge all the pain that they actually caused this queen and how much they really did hurt this queen and affect this queen. Cause I feel like they really did affect them to their core is kind of what I'm getting, but I feel like they're so oblivious to like all the pain that they caused them, which is kind of making me feel like this is somebody who clearly can't take accountability for their own actions. Like, they just can't is kind of what I'm getting. But just be careful because I feel like this king still has a lot of emotions here for this queen of pentacles. They still kind of look at this queen of pentacles like, you know, this is the one for me. I just don't understand. Like, why did this happen? And, you know, things like that. Any advice for Scorpio in regards to this spread? Okay. We have the three of wands, we got the four of pentacles, we also have the six of swords to the eight of cups, and then we also have the uh, tower out here. So Scorpio, in the beginning of your relationship with this person, it's going to look good, it's going to feel good, it's going to be awesome. Um, like I said, it is going to send you into a state of confusion just a little bit because you're going to find yourself really questioning like, man, like why, why would this, why would this queen slash empress leave you i don't understand like why would they leave you 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 seem like such a good guy you seem like this you seem like that but i feel like as time goes on you're gonna realize exactly why this queen left see here's the here's the thing that i love about you scorpios right you guys and i say this often about you guys you guys are very intuitive people you guys have psychic abilities on top of that you guys typically are normally 10 steps ahead of people um is what i've noticed throughout the years of doing tarot right the moment that you start to talk to this person and get to know this person, you're going to realize exactly why this queen left, okay? You're going to notice exactly why this queen left, and I kind of see you deciding to not invest. I kind of see you deciding to not even bother with this person, okay? Because you're going to realize exactly why this queen actually left. You're going to realize exactly why this queen left. Now, you may not hear it through the horse's mouth, but through your own observation, you're going to realize exactly why this queen left. I feel like I feel like this queen kind of wished that they would have played 
this entire situation the way that you're basically playing it. The way that you're basically playing it. See, you're just playing it smart. You know what I mean? Like you're really taking your time to really get to know this person and really figure this person out and really see what this person's all about. And what you're discovering is that this is somebody who's not worth your time and or investment. In fact, you feel like the more you involve yourself here with this person, the more the more you run a risk of en of ending up getting hurt and disappointed uh, by this person. But I kind of feel like this, this queen really does wish that they can honestly go back into time and undo what they did as far as like involving themselves with this king is concerned. Um, but it kind of looks like it's too late. They are already invested a lot of time and energy towards this relationship and well, they can't take that back. But I kind of feel like they kind of wish that they can go back into time and undo what they did as far as like involving themselves with this king is concerned. But the fact that you're 10 steps ahead of this queen over here um you're definitely avoiding a lot of disappointment you're avoiding um a very toxic and unhealthy relationship you're avoiding pain you're you're avoiding disappointment which is something that this queen obviously didn't you know get to avoid because i feel like they just weren't 10 steps ahead of this person i don't but you on the other hand you're definitely 10 steps ahead of this queen of pentacles i feel like this queen of pentacles just kind of I don't know. I just kind of feel like this Queen of Pentacles just kind of fell for this person uh, very, very quickly, but also very, very easily. I feel like they ignored all the red flags on top of that. You, my friend, are not ignoring the red flags. Um, like I said, you're, you're 10 steps ahead. And I don't feel like this queen ever was when they were with them. And I feel like this is why they experienced so much pain and disappointment. Um, it just kind of looks like... It just kind of looks like if they were 10 steps ahead of this person and this situation, they would have avoided a lot of pain and a lot of disappointment. Um, but unfortunately, because they, they weren't, they experienced a lot of pain and disappointment. But like I said, you're going to realize exactly why this queen left. And the moment that you realize why this queen left, I, I see you deciding to just kind of like dodge this bullet as you honestly should. All right. So that's what I have for you. Hopefully the reading helps. Hopefully it resonated. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye. Hello Cancer, Summon Rising and Venus and welcome to your reading. Let's see who's coming towards you within the month of January 2024. Who's coming towards Cancer within the month of January 2024? Let's see what's going on here. Okay, so we do have the King of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Cups. We also have the Seven of Swords to the Two of Pentacles as well as the Four of Cups. And then we also have the Wheel of Fortune. Ooh, okay. And then we have the Queen of Wands to the Eight of Wands to the Five of Cups uh, to the Judgment card. So let's talk, you guys, okay? It kind of looks like you're receiving unexpected communication here, Cancer, but it's, it's from somebody who left you extremely hurt and disappointed. It is pretty evident to me that this person did something on their end to self-sabotage things here between you and them. And this time that the two of you spent apart from one another, they've been spending a lot of time reflecting and thinking about whatever it is that they did on their end to cause this relationship to go south here between the two of you. Now, What's interesting is the way that they're going about this entire situation. We have the King of Pentacles to the Knight of Cups to the Two of Pentacles. This is them deciding to extend themselves to you and apologize to you for whatever it is that they said and or did to cause this relationship to go south here between the two of you. Now, they're going to make it seem like, hey, listen, Cancer, like, I'm just calling you or I'm just texting you because I realized where I went wrong. Shouldn't have done what I did. I'm really sorry. You didn't really deserve that from me. And I just wanted to, I just wanted to say that I'm sorry. I do feel like there's more to this story. I don't feel like they're only contacting you because they're sorry. Even though I do believe this person is extremely sorry, I feel like there's more to this story here. Um, especially with the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is all about um, you know, things playing out in our favor. I feel like there's something in particular that this person wants out of this encounter that they're about to basically have here with you. So let's see what that is. Let's look at the Wheel of Fortune. Tell me more about the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Doom, 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 doom. We have the five of wands. We got the seven of pentacles. We got the five of pentacles to the star, to the knight of swords. And then we also have the uh, page of cups.
cups. So the outcome that this person's seeking for and what they want here has a lot to do with them wanting to heal things here with you and have a conversation here with you, but also pick up where they left off with you. Whatever happened here between you and this person has a lot to do with something that they did on their end to cause this relationship to go south here between the two of you. I feel like it led to a really big fight slash argument between you and this person, and it led to an ending here occurring between you and them. But the outcome that this person is seeking for is for healing to take place, a conversation to take place, but they also want you to accept their apology as well as forgive them and take them back. Seven of Pentacles is just them wanting to pick up where they left off with you. Now, are they going to make it seem that way initially at first when they do contact you? Probably not, um, because I feel like this person's under the impression that due to whatever it is that they did on their end to cause the relationship to go south has naturally caused you to possibly not want anything to do with them. Now, I'm not saying that you don't want anything to do with this person but they feel like you may not want anything to do with them so it kind of looks like what they're doing here is deciding to call you or text you and apologize to you for whatever it is that they said and or did um but they're really really hoping for a reconciliation they're really hoping that you're going to turn around and take them back but they're not going to make it seem that way at first they're just going to make it seem like hey i'm just calling you i'm just texting you because i just I just wanted to apologize to you for whatever it is that I said and or did that left you extremely hurt and disappointed, okay? Uh, with the Queen of Wands to the Eight of Wands to the Judgment card coming out here for your overall energy, I feel like you've been waiting to actually hear from this person. It kind of looks like you've been waiting to hear from this person. It kind of looks like you've been waiting for this person to apologize to you for whatever it is that they said and or did that left you extremely hurt and disappointed in the end. And it kind of looks like you're going to end up receiving that apology that you've basically been waiting for since its ending occurred here between you and them. All right. So Cancer, just be mindful that yes, they are coming back around your way to apologize to you, which is something that I feel like you've been waiting for. But they're also coming back around your way because they want to pick up where they left off with you, okay? So just keep that in mind that they're going to try to wiggle their way back into your life all over again. It's up to you on whether or not you decide to take this person back or not. But I do kind of feel like eventually they're going to start to really push for um, the two of you to get back together and kind of pick up where you guys left off here with one another. But it's up to you on whether or not you decide to take this person back or not. Okay, so that's what I have for you, Cancer. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye. Hello, Gemini. Summon Rising and Venus. And welcome to your reading. Let's see who's coming towards you within the month of January 2024. Who's coming towards Gemini, Summon Rising and Venus? Who's coming towards Gemini? Let's see, Gemini, what we got here. Okay, so... In regards to who's coming towards you within the month of January, um, it is someone uh, from your past. It's somebody that you invest a lot of time and energy towards. Maybe you could have been dealing with this person for a few years, possibly even for a few months, but I feel like your involvement with this person... Um, it does kind of stretch beyond, I would say, three months for sure. But regardless of how long you were with this person in particular, you got this person resurfacing back up here for you out of the blue. With the Death card to the Seven of Pentacles to the Nine of Swords coming out here, I kind of feel like this person went a while without seeing you and, and speaking to you. Um, and I kind of feel like because they went a while without speaking to you um, or seeing you, I kind of feel like it is causing this person to feel like, their relationship with you might be over and done with for good. Maybe in the past, you guys will break up and make up, break up and make up. And this time around, you guys are not making up um, because there's something about there being too much time that has passed that's causing them to basically think, oh man, like this relationship might be over for good. It's something that they are extremely worried and concerned about. It kind of looks like since this ending occurred actually between you and them, They've kind of been patiently waiting for you to gravitate towards them, but it doesn't look like you ever did, Gemini. It doesn't look like you ever did. Yeah, it doesn't look like you ever did. Uh, with the King of Swords, though, to the Two of Pentacles, to a Judgment card, this is them deciding to basically resurface back up here for you out of the blue. But like I said, I feel like this person's a little bit worried and concerned that they haven't necessarily heard from you. And because they haven't necessarily heard from you, it's causing them to think like, oh man, like, this must mean that it's over between Gemini and I. Like, for good this time is kind of what I'm getting. Time for about judgment. Let's see why this person's coming back. We have the Eight of Swords. Ooh. With the Queen of Swords to the Four of Pentacles. 
And then we also have the Ten of Swords. Okay. To repair a situation here between you and this person, you were definitely connecting with a soulmate here in the past. Um, it kind of looks like when this person does resurface back up here for you, um, I don't feel like you're going to be too happy about it. I gotta be honest, I don't feel like you're going to be too happy about it. It kind of looks like you are the one that actually initiated this ending here between you and them, Gemini. And it kind of looks like you're just deciding to kind of stick to your guns here and kind of keep things as is between you and this person, which is basically over. Now that you're out of this relationship, Gemini, with this person, I think that you were able to kind of see how toxic and unhealthy your relationship actually was here with this person how much your involvement with this person was actually changing you but it wasn't necessarily changing you for the better you know i feel like when you were with this person you didn't have any sort of peace of mind whatsoever you just didn't have it for some of you it may have been extremely difficult and challenging for you to even trust this person because I'm also kind of getting that. I feel like since this ending occurred here between you and this person, I feel like your peace of mind has definitely been restored is kind of what I'm getting. But like I said, when this person resurfaces back up here for you, I don't feel like you're going to be too happy about it, unfortunately, for you. And I don't see you letting them back in, unfortunately, for them. But I'm kind of curious as to why this person's coming back, though, nonetheless. Why is this person coming back to Gemini? <clears throat> well, it kind of looks like... The main reason why this person is coming back is because they want to have a conversation with you. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Four of Wands as well as the Emperor. Not only are they coming back because they want to have a conversation with you about this ending that occurred here between you and them, um, but they're also coming back because they want you and what they once upon a time had with you back in their life all over again. Let me grab the Four of Pentacles that actually fell to the ground. Hold on. Yeah, so it kind of looks like this person's coming back because they want you and what they want to spend time had with you back in their life all over again. I feel like this person's going to go as far as to tell you that they've changed, especially because they're going from the king of swords to the emperor. I feel like this person's going to go as far as to tell you that they've changed, that they've changed. Any advice for Gemini in regards to this spread? We have the Justice card, we got the Knight of Pentacles, and then we have the Queen of Wands. Before I say anything, just keep in mind, uh, Gemini, that at the end of the day, regardless of your advice, I still want you guys to do what you feel as though is best for you, okay? Regardless of your overall advice, it's your life, you do what you want with it. But your overall advice is to basically, you know, keep things as is here between you and this uh, person, which is basically over. Um, a lot of you might feel on an intuitive level that this person has not changed and they're never going to change a lot of you do tend to kind of look at this this king like they're never gonna change or they haven't even changed because i'm also kind of getting that for some of you out there but your overall advice is to stick to your guns here and see this ending through here no matter how challenging and difficult it may be see this ending through here and this could definitely imply that you know this person hasn't actually changed and spirit kind of knows that so spirit's kind of telling you hey just kind of stick to your guns here and see this entire situation through and don't revisit this connection because they haven't actually changed like they say they have because i am kind of getting like an energy of them kind of coming back around your way saying that they've you know that they've changed now i'm not saying that they haven't changed but one thing that i will say is that I've never actually seen a person go from a king of swords to an emperor like that. Never seen it happen a day in my life. It takes years to get to an emperor status. It takes years. And I don't feel like you guys have been apart for years or anything like that. It takes years to get to an emperor status. It takes a lot of life experience to get to an emperor status. There's no way that this person went from a king of swords to an emperor just like that overnight or even in a few months. Like I said, it takes years to get to an emperor status. It takes a lot of life experience experience to get to an emperor status so i'm gonna go ahead and say that more than likely they haven't changed i just kind of feel like they're just kind of telling you everything that they think you want to hear um in hopes that eventually all of this will play out in this person's favor but more of the story is is that your overall advice is to see this ending through and to not take this person back because there's a possibility that if you were to basically get back with this person you're just going to find yourself back at square one getting disappointed all over again by this person, getting hurt by this person all over again. And obviously spirit doesn't want you to go through that. So spirit's like, hey, Gemini, just kind of stick to your guns here and see this entire situation through. Now, 
if and when this person does resurface back up here for you and you get this intuitive hit that they have changed and that things are going to be different this time around, then I highly recommend that you trust your intuition on that um, because everybody's situation is going to be different. Some of you guys might get this intuitive hit that, all right, this person has changed. I can trust them this time around. And then, well, for others of you, you're just going to get this intuitive hit that, no, I can't trust them. They haven't changed. And that's something that you really need to trust and rely on is basically your intuition and what your intuition is telling you. So when this person does resurface back up here for you forget about what your mind is telling you forget about what your heart is telling you just listen to what your intuition is telling you because your intuition is never going to sit here and deceive you it's never going to sit here and lie to you if your intuition tells you nope this is a no-go then this is a no-go don't even bother with this person but if your intuition is saying hey like they've changed and you should really give them another chance and totally give this person another chance but it kind of looks like it's leaning more towards a more than likely have not changed it kind of looks like it's leaning more towards this is somebody that you just need to outright avoid um because if you were to revisit this connection there is a huge possibility that this person might turn around and just hurt you and disappoint you all over again it's kind of what i'm getting gemini so that's what you could expect for the month of january 2024 hopefully the reading helped hopefully it resonated and i will see you guys in your next reading bye hello libra someone rising and venus and welcome to your reading let's see who's coming towards you within the month of january 2024 who's coming towards libra someone rising and venus who's coming towards libra all right, Libra, let's see who's coming towards you. <clears throat> okay. Wherever this person is that's coming towards you, it's somebody that you recently decided to sever ties with. The fact that we have the devil, not the devil out here, the fact that we have the tower out here just goes to show that your relationship with this person wasn't the best because the tower is linked to the devil, which basically describes a very toxic and unhealthy relationship and or environment that you were in in the past but it kind of looks like you sever ties here with this person that you had a very toxic and unhealthy relationship with it kind of looks like somehow some way this person managed uh to self-sabotage a really good thing here between you and them now with all of that being said um, it kind of looks like this person has been keeping their distance from you uh, for quite some time now, but it kind of looks like eventually they're going to resurface back up here for you. And I don't feel like you're going to be totally shocked when they do, because on an intuitive level, I kind of feel like, you know, you know, it's only a matter of time before this person resurfaces back up here for you. You just know it's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time. And it kind of looks like they are going to kind of looks like they are going to um let me look at the chariot tell me more about the chariot for some of you you might have to deal with this person due the due to the fact that they are a child i can't even talk today you might have to deal with this person due to the fact that there could very well be children involved or a child involved all right let's see okay you know i don't like the way that this person looks at you i don't like the way that they look at you i don't like the way that they look at you I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be very honest with what I'm seeing here. This person did something to self-sabotage things here between you and them. And I don't feel like this is the first time they ruined things here between you and them. I feel like they have a history, honey, of self-sabotaging things here between you and them. Now, although you guys might not be on speaking terms right now, although there might be a lot of distance right now between you and them, this person's looking at you as somebody who's not going anywhere. They're looking at you like somebody who's not going anywhere. They're basically looking at you as somebody who's going to just turn around and take them back. Even after all this stuff that they basically put you through. They they genuinely think, believe, and feel like you're just going to turn around and take them back. And I don't, I don't like that because this person basically thinks now that they could get away with a lot being with you. And you're just going to turn around and take them back. Because it kind of looks like you have in the past. And this is the scary part of, uh, I would say, forgiving a person and letting a person back in. This is literally the scary part of it all, right? Because of, you know, people like this, right? It kind of looks like in the past you've forgiven this person for something that they either said and or did to cause this relationship to go south here between you and them. And it kind of looks like, yeah, you probably did turn around and take them back and, and forgave them in hopes that maybe this time around things will be different here between you and them. But it kind of looks like things aren't changing. Things aren't improving. Um, things aren't getting better obviously because it kind of looks like another tower moment occurred here between you and this person 
but now it's already implanted in this person's brain that oh well I can get away with this I can get away with that and well Libra's just going to turn around and take me back because they did it in the past and they'll do it again um and I just I don't like the fact that they look at you like that I don't I don't like it because now it, it's already implanted in this person's brain that they can get away with a lot and you're just going to turn around and take them back. Now, I'm not saying that you're going to turn around and take them back this time around, but they think that you are. Um, Libra, I'm going to be honest, and this is just me being your BFF real quick, okay? I, I, <sighs> I, it's already implanted in this person's brain that they can get away with a lot, and you're just going to turn around and take them back. So... I don't know, man. I, if I were you, dude, if I were you, if I were you, I'm not saying do what I would do. You know what I mean? Um, of course, do you, right? Do what, do what you feel is always best for you. I just, I, I wouldn't revisit something like this. Not with somebody who already has this, you know, in the back of their brain that, oh, I could get away with this, then the third, and Libra's just going to take me back because this person doesn't feel like they have to stop doing what they've been doing because for what you're just going to turn around and take them back and you know they don't feel like they have to change you know what i mean they don't feel like they have to change in their mind they think the worst that's going to happen here is that you're going to break up with them you're going to go your way they're going to go their way you guys are going to spend some time apart and during that time apart they're going to do whatever the hell they want to do with their life and then when they feel like coming back they'll come back to you because they think that well you're just sitting around waiting for them either which way and that you're just going to turn around and take them back this is why i'm saying that i if i were you i would not take this person back if i were you but then again it's your life you know what i mean um what's libra gonna do Oh, Libra, 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 Libra. It kind of looks like, um, it kind of looks like before this person busts a U-turn back in your direction, you're going to find yourself getting to know someone new. Okay. It's kind of what I'm getting. You're going to find yourself getting to know someone new. And this person is very different from this human that you are connecting with. Very, very different. Very different very very different very different <clears throat> and i think that that's something that you're going to appreciate about this new person that's something that you're going to really like about this new person but now i'm kind of worried because i feel like once this person does bust a u-turn back in your direction for the vast majority of you you might consider in taking this person back and i feel like it has a lot to do with like a variety of different reasons there's history here between you and this person um again for some of you you might you know, have a family with this person. That's a possibility. Um, yeah. <laughs> Libra, listen. At the end of the day, your life, you know, do what you want with it. This new person that you're either currently connecting with or going to find yourself connecting with, you're going to find yourself connecting with this person before this one buses a U-turn back in your direction, before they do, okay? Now, with that being said, I'm a firm believer that everything in life happens for a reason. Coincidences don't exist. Everything in life happens for a reason. There's a reason why this person's showing up here for you. And there's a reason why this person's nothing like this person from your past. And I feel like that's spirit's way of basically showing you, hey, you don't really have to deal with all the fuckery that comes, you know, with this person from your past anymore. You don't have to tolerate the disrespect. You don't have to tolerate them lying to you, cheating on you, deceiving you every chance and opportunity they get. You don't have to go through that. You don't have to. And I feel like this connection is going to reveal that to you, that you don't have to live a life with somebody who doesn't respect you, somebody who lies to you, hides things from you, and every chance that they get, they're turning around doing something that they shouldn't be doing, okay? Um, because it kind of looks like if the shoe was on the other foot, they wouldn't, they, they probably would have left you a long time ago. It's kind of what I'm getting. That's why this connection is showing up here for you more than likely is to highlight to you, yo, you don't have to put up with this. You don't have to deal with this person from your past. You don't have to go through this anymore. You have the option to not suffer anymore. It's basically what it is. You have the option to not suffer anymore. It's up to you though, on what you decide to do in the end, because it is your life. Now, with the Nine of Swords attached to this new connection, I do feel like you're going to be a little bit too fearful to let this person get to let this person in. And I don't blame you. You know what I mean? Considering everything that you tolerated from this one over here, I don't blame you as to why you would be on the fence about this new person, as to why you might have a very difficult time trusting them and letting them in. I don't blame you. But that's as simple as I could put it. You have the option to not suffer anymore. 
by choosing this. By choosing this, because this one over here, I'm telling you right now, dude, I'm telling you right now, it's already implanted in this person's brain. I can get away with this, that, and the third, and Libra's going to turn around and take me back because they've done it before. I wish that I can kind of give them their flowers in the sense where, you know, they're realizing, oh man, I messed up, shouldn't have done this, shouldn't have done that. Let me start changing let me start doing better let me start doing right by lever but i can't give them that i can't give them that they don't have the cards to back them up on that i i just can't give it to them i can't give it to them i cannot give it to them tell me more about the chariot <clears throat> we have the three of cups we have the sun and then we also have the star mm. they're convinced that you're just going to take them back they feel pretty confident, in fact, that you're going to take them back. They feel pretty confident that this entire situation is going to play out exactly the way they think it is. You're going to turn around and take them back. <sighs> what should Libra do? <clears throat> what should Libra do? Yeah. Okay, so we have the devil to the two of cups, and then we also have the world. This is what you should do. You should close a cycle out here between you and this human. Um, and it's mainly because this person can't get their own act together to save their own life. It's kind of what I'm getting. It's kind of what I'm getting. This relationship between you and this person, um, I mean, it's, it's, it's destroying you. It's not building you back up. It's literally destroying you. It's literally destroying you. And it's because they can't get their act together. This is not this is not your fault, by the way. This is not your fault. There there is nothing wrong with you that you know inspires this person to do the things that they do. This is a them problem. This is literally a them problem. This is somebody who <clears throat> doesn't value and or appreciate a good thing when they got it. And that's literally on them. That that has nothing to do with you. That has nothing to do with you. That has nothing to do with you. None of this is your fault. They just can't get their act together. They just can't. They just can't. And I got to be honest, I, I, I feel like this person has self-sabotaged many good opportunities here for themselves because they just can't get their act together. They just can't. They just can't. You know? So, Libra, your overall advice is to just allow this cycle to close out. You're caught up in a vicious cycle, dude, with this person. A very vicious cycle. Um... And spirit wants you to just close the cycle out and start doing right by you instead of right by this person who can't even do right by you. You know what I mean? Like if they're like dependent on them to do right by you, I, you know, I don't think this person will make it is kind of what I'm trying to like communicate to you and what spirit is trying to communicate to you and what spirit has been trying to communicate to you. Cause I don't feel like you've been dealing with this person for like a few months now. I, I feel like you've been dealing with this situation for years and spirit has been trying to get you to see, yo, this person's not going to change. They haven't changed in their in, in any previous relationship they've been in prior to meeting you, and they're probably not going to change. They're probably not going to change. Um, they're probably not, you know, um, because it doesn't look like they are. They don't have the cards to back them up on this, so I can't give it to them. I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, Libra, they're going to change. Not unless they have the cards to back them up, and they don't. I can't even give them that. All I can say is that this person thinks that you're not going anywhere. And they also think that, well, if Libra forgave me for this, that, and the third, um, you know, they're just going to keep forgiving me. They feel like that's just what your relationship with this person, you know, is just going to turn into. They mess up, you take them back, you know, and that's that. They kind of feel like that's just kind of, you know, how, the, you know, this, this story is going to crumble here between you and them because it kind of looks like it's, it's been that way for a long time. There's no respect here. There is no respect. No respect here. Like, no respect whatsoever. Again, I just, I, I kind of feel like this person, they just don't know how to value and appreciate a good thing. They just, they really don't, unfortunately, Libra. You know, if, if I were you, dude, I would let this cycle close out and go with this one. Because I don't feel like you're going to be dealing with somebody who's going to disrespect you or, you know, play you or none of that shit. Like, you're not going to find yourself going through that with this person. You're just not, you know. But with this one over here, it's like you're going to keep experiencing what you've been experiencing because you keep doing the same thing over and over again. This is basically like, a, you know, the definition of insanity where you keep doing the same thing over and over and over again, expecting a different outcome. And you're not getting that. 
you're not getting that. So something has to give, something has to change. And it takes you to start doing right by you and break out of this vicious cycle to then start experiencing what you truly deserve, right? Which is somebody who's going to respect you, somebody who's going to love you, somebody who's not going to sit up here and, and play games. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Um, but Libra, the choice is yours, all right? So that's what I have for you. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye. Hello, Aquarius, Summon Rising, and Venus, and welcome to your reading. Let's see who's coming towards you within the month of January 2024. Who's coming towards Aquarius, Summon Rising, and Venus within the month of January 2024? Who's coming towards Aquarius? All right, let's see, Aquarius. Mm, okay, all right. So we have the Empress out here. We also have the Lovers to the Five of Wands to the Page of Wands. And then we also have the Knight of Swords to the Four of Pentacles. Mm. It, mm, okay. Um, Aquarius, it, it kind of looks like you've kind of moved on with your life. It's like the best way that I can describe what it is that I'm seeing here. Currently at the moment, you could very well be connecting with someone new. Or you might find yourself connecting with someone new in the month of January. But I feel like somebody's catching wind of this. But it's somebody that you kind of severed ties with already. So this could definitely represent somebody that you were once upon a time romantically involved with. Um, and for whatever reason, it kind of looks like you just decided to kind of sever ties here uh, with this person. Person. Now, I don't want to go into depths about why you decided to end things here uh, with this person. It just kind of looks like you did. And currently at the moment, you are definitely moving on with your life and you are definitely connecting here with someone else or you're going to find yourself connecting with someone else within the month of January. But I feel like this person that you sever ties with, they're catching wind that you've already moved on with your life. And I kind of feel like this person's blood is kind of boiling. Uh, with the Five of Wands to the Page of Wands to the Knight of Swords to the Four of Pentacles out here, yeah. I feel like this person's blood is kind of boiling. Um, I don't feel like this person's too happy, Aquarius, that you currently find yourself uh, connecting with someone else or you're going to find yourself connecting with someone else because somehow some way and don't ask me how because I don't know but somehow some way this person's catching wind that you're either currently connecting with someone else or they're going to find out uh, when you do eventually find yourself connecting with someone else that you've already moved forward and moved on with your life and they're not going to be too happy about it but the four of pentacles coming out here that's basically telling me that despite the fact that yes, there was an ending here that occurred here between you and them, they're still kind of holding on to you and what they once upon a time had with you. It's like this person, how do I explain it? it it's interesting because even though you guys are not together anymore, they still kind of look at you like you belong to them. Hopefully that makes sense, right? Even though you guys are not together, they still kind of look at you like, I don't know, like you're their property, like you belong to them still is kind of what I'm getting. And I feel like that's kind of why they're so angry and upset. Um, because even though, yes, there was an ending here that occurred between you and them, they still look at you like you belong to them. Like, how dare you move on with your life? How dare you talk to somebody else? It's kind of what I'm getting. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay. Um, let's look at the five of wands. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Lord. Listen, when this person catches wind that you're currently involved with someone else or they're going to end up finding out that you are in January, because in January you might find yourself connecting with someone. Either you're currently connected with someone or you're going to eventually find yourself connecting with someone in January and that's when they're going to catch wind of you basically moving forward and moving on with your life. Regardless of when they actually find this out, when they do find it out, they're not going to be too happy about it. Just right off the bat, I can already tell they're not going to be too happy about this. Now, I do see them kind of biting down on their tongue, like choosing to kind of keep how they feel about you moving forward and moving on with your life all to the themselves but there's going to come a point in time where it's just going to come out it's just going to come out i'm gonna be honest um knight of swords to the five of wands that's like lashing out energy so yeah i mean expect this person to lash out at you expect this person to kind of come at you sideways for moving forward and moving on with your life i don't feel like you guys are together though that's my thing I don't feel like you guys are together. I feel like that's what it is, you guys. And I hope that it makes sense, right? But I don't feel like you guys are together anymore. 
I don't for the life of me. I don't feel like you guys are together, but I feel like they still look at you like, yo, like you're, you're mine. You belong to me. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like that's what it is, is that even though you guys are not, hopefully this even makes sense. Even though you guys are not together, they still look at you like, yo, like you belong to me. You know what I mean? Like we're still together, even though we're not together. It's so weird. It's so weird because I don't feel like you guys are together. I just feel like this person still looks at you like you belong to them, even though you guys are not together. I really hope that that makes sense. I really hope that that makes sense. Um, tell me more about the Empress. Genius. We have the two of pentacles, not the two of pentacles. We got the two of wands with the queen of swords to the seven of pentacles to the ace of swords. And then we also have the hermit. You're definitely connecting with somebody that you do see a lot of potential with. You're definitely connecting with somebody that you do see a lot of potential with, that you do mesh very, very well with. It's interesting because I don't know how they found all of this out. Because I don't feel like it, I don't feel like they found out through you. I feel like they found out some out, some other way is kind of what I'm getting. I don't feel like you told them, hey, by the way, I'm currently seeing such and such. You know, no, I, I kind of feel like. Yes, there is somebody here that you currently find yourself romantically involved with. Yes, there is someone here that you see a lot of potential with. Um, but with the Hermit coming out here for you and the Ace of Swords, this is kind of like an overall energy of like, yeah, I see a lot of potential with this person. But you know what? Let's just, you know, take things day by day, see where life takes us. Let me not get my hopes up. You know, let's just, you know, take it day by day and see what happens, right? But in the midst of this all... I feel like you're keeping your relationship with this person that you currently find yourself connecting with to yourself. It's like you're kind of waiting to see like, okay, let's just see where this relationship goes. And you know what, if, if it leads to something serious, then I'll treat it, you know, as if it is a serious relationship and I'll be exclusive with this person and all that stuff. But in the meantime, it kind of looks like you're choosing to just kind of keep your relationship between you and them. And you know, if it leads to something serious and I see you being exclusive with this person, but until that point, I don't see you being exclusive with this person. I see you deciding to kind of keep your relationship between you and this person all to yourself. So in other words, I don't see you, you know, screaming from the rooftop that you're currently romantically involved with anybody. I don't. So it's interesting to me as to how they even found out. You know what I mean? It's interesting to me as to how they even found out. That I don't know. Because I don't feel like you're screaming from the rooftop like, yo, everybody, by the way, dealing with such and such now. No, I don't see you doing that. If anything, I kind of see you waiting until like things get more serious between you and this person. Then I see you being, you know, exclusive with them and, you know, posting them on your social media, you know, things of that nature. But until that day comes, I don't see you like, you know, screaming from the rooftop that you're currently in a relationship with someone. But it's it's kind of interesting how they're actually finding out. I don't know how this person's actually finding out. Um, I don't know. Maybe they're putting two and two together um, that you're seeing such and such, you know, on their own. I don't know, but I feel like this person's finding out somehow, some way. Maybe things are starting to get a little bit more serious here between you and this person to the point where, you know, you are starting to kind of like post pictures of the two of you together. Maybe, maybe that's what's happening and that's how they're finding out possibly. Maybe. Um, but yeah, I just... I gotta be honest, Aquarius, I feel bad, but it kind of looks like when they do actually find out that you're like currently involved with someone, um, they're gonna lash out at you without a shot of a doubt. Like this person's going to lash out at you. Knight of Swords to the Five of Wands, yeah. Uh, you're gonna get an earful from this one over here. Time more about the Four of Pentacles. It's like this person has been secretly like keeping tabs on you somehow, some way. It's like this person has been secretly keeping tabs on you somehow, some way, dude. It's like they're really curious to know what it is that you're currently up to. And I kind of feel like this curiosity that's kind of sinking in here for them is kind of leading them to, well, the truth. And the truth is, is that, well, it kind of looks like you are seeing somebody else. Like I said, it kind of looks like you're not going to be exclusive with this person until obviously things get more serious here between you and them. And maybe things are getting more serious between you and them. And now you're posting them on social media. I know that Facebook, I don't have Facebook, but I know, well, maybe Facebook still kind of has that feature. I don't know if they do or not, but I know like back in the days, anyways, when I was a teenager, Facebook had like the option 
or you can like pick and choose if you're in a relationship or not or whatever the case may be uh, maybe you're you know changing your relationship status to in a relationship you know what i mean and they're finding out about it um back in the days i don't know if it's like this now but i think that you were able to kind of actually tag i don't know if that's like the right term like tag the person that you're in a relationship with or like I, I don't know whatever you know what i mean if you have facebook you know what i mean but if it changed over the years and i don't know but i know back in the days it was like that but point is is that they're finding out somehow some way it's the curiosity that's sinking in and that curiosity that's sinking in is leading them to the truth and the truth is is that you're definitely involved with somebody here and it's somebody that you see a lot of potential with it's someone that you see a lot of potential with and they're not going to be too happy about it. Uh, and like I said, when they do find out, uh, it kind of looks like you're going to get an earful from this person. That's kind of what I'm getting, Aquarius. So, yeah, uh, January is going to be an interesting month, I would say, uh, for you. I mean, things are definitely growing and evolving here within this connection that you either currently find yourself in or you're going to find yourself in within the month of January. But the fact that someone from your past is kind of finding out about all of this, I don't feel like they're going to be too happy. Um, but that's what you could possibly expect here for the month of January. All right. So that's what I have for you, Aquarius. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye. Hello Capricorn, Summon Rising, and Venus, and welcome to your reading. Let's see who's coming towards you within the month of January 2024. Who's coming towards Capricorn, Summon Rising, and Venus? Let's see who's coming towards you, Capricorn. Ooh, okay. Okay, so in regards to who's coming towards you, it's somebody that you recently experienced an ending with. Um, I kind of feel like this person's resurfacing back up here for you, just wanting to kind of know if you're really, really done with them or not is kind of what I'm getting, okay? Even though things came to an end here between you and them, it kind of looks like they're having a very difficult time accepting the fact that it's over between you and them. So I do see this person resurfacing back up here for you. But it is stemming from a place of them just kind of wanting to know, like, are you really, really done with them? Are you really going to move forward and move on with your life or not? Like, what, 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 what is it going to be, Capricorn? What is it going to be? Um, it kind of looks like, it kind of looks like overall they're just having a very difficult time cementing um, this ending here that transpired between you and them. But like I said, you will be receiving communication here from this person, but it is, like I said, stemming from a place of them just kind of wanting to know, like, are you really, really done with them? Are you really moving forward and moving on with your life or not? Um, it kind of looks like that's all that this person wants to know. How's Capricorn going to respond and react to all of this? Okay. So we have the Page of Cups. We have the Queen of Swords. We have the Eight of Pentacles. And then we also have the Judgment card. Okay. So this person, like I said, they're resurfacing back up here for you, Capricorn, and they just want to know, are you really done with them or not? With the Page of Cups to the Queen of Swords to the Eight of Pentacles to the Judgment card coming out here, this is like an overall energy um, of you wanting to actually continue to fix and repair your relationship here with this person that's resurfacing back up here for you. So I actually see you getting back here uh, with this person. I'm also getting an apology coming from this person to you. There's a possibility you could very well be apologizing to this person for something that you either said and or did, but I do see you getting back here with someone. I do. I do see you getting back here with someone. I do see you wanting to fix and repair things here with this person. What's the outcome here between these two? Yeah, I, I see you guys getting back together. I see you getting back together with this person. Um, and I see you guys moving past whatever caused this um, separation to occur here between the two of you. But yes, I do see you guys getting back together. I definitely see that happening for some of you this could definitely represent an on and off relationship because i am kind of getting that for some of you out there maybe you guys tend to break up make up break up make up because i am kind of getting that for some of you out there but yeah more of the story is you got somebody resurfacing back up here for you out of the blue and they're kind of really questioning you like hey are you really done with me or are you not done with me do you still want this or do you not want this but it looks like you still want this and it kind of looks like you still want to fix and repair your relationship here with this person. And it kind of looks like you guys are going to end up getting back together, moving past whatever caused this separation here between you and them. So it kind of looks like within the month of January 2024, a reconciliation is going to be taking place here between you and this person. All right. So that's what I have for you, Capricorn. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye. 
Hello, Virgo, Summon Rising, and Venus, and welcome to your reading. Let's see who's coming towards you within the month of January 2024. Who's coming towards Virgo? Summon Rising and Venus. Who's coming towards Virgo? Okay. We have the Eight of Swords. We have the High Priestess. We also have the World with the Eight of Cups. And then we also have the Ace of Cups. And then we also have the Hermit. I feel like you're giving somebody the cold shoulder slash silent treatment, Virgo. Okay, and it could be somebody that you were once upon a time romantically involved with. It could be a friend. Um, it could even be a family member. But I feel like you're giving somebody the cold shoulder slash silent treatment. And I kind of feel like the silent treatment that this person's receiving from you is kind of driving them a little bit borderline insane. Okay, um, it's causing them to really like wonder like, okay, has Virgo like moved on with their life already? Are they over me? Is this relationship really over? Are we going to end up getting back together? Like, I feel like there's like a million questions questions running through this poor person's mind in regards to you and what's going to end up happening next between you and them is kind of what I'm getting. Currently at the moment, I don't see this person taking action in your direction. I don't. It kind of looks like right now they're just trying to figure out like, okay, is it really over between Virgo and I? Like, did Virgo move on with their life? Are they seeing someone else? Are we going to end up getting back together? Like, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? Um, <laughs> I want to look at your energy. Tell me more about the hermit. Okay, so we have the Two of Wands, we have the Seven of Wands, and then we also have the Justice card. Ooh, it kind of looks like you recently decided, Virgo, to distance yourself here from someone. It kind of looks like you recently decided um, to not involve yourself with someone in particular anymore. And with the Justice card coming out here, you feel like you're doing the right thing. By keeping, your, by keeping your distance here from this person and not involving yourself here with this person, you feel like you're honestly doing the right thing. You feel like you're honestly doing what's best for you. That's kind of what I'm getting here. Tell me more about the Eight of Swords. Jesus. We have the Nine of Swords. We have the Tower. We also have the Ten of Wands. And then we also have the Six of Pentacles. Virgo, th like I said, dude, this silent treatment that this person's receiving from you, they're not... They're not taking it so well. This ending that occurred here between you and them, they're not taking it so well. It is definitely hitting them, and it's hitting them hard. It is hitting them hard. There's an overall energy of them wanting to make things right with you with the Six of Pentacles coming out here. Six of Pentacles is basically the minor to the Justice card in Tarot, which is all about balancing things out and making things right. You know, I feel like they want to make things right here with you, Virgo. I feel like this is somebody who hates the fact that you're currently giving them the silent treatment. They hate the fact that you're keeping your distance here from them. They hate the fact that you don't even want anything to do with them. Like I said, this ending between you and them, it's hitting them and it's hitting them hard. And all they really want to do is have a conversation here with you and make things right here with you. But it's kind of hard for them to make things right with you when you're kind of in this energy of, nope, I'm good. I'm good. I don't want to make things right with that person. I'm good over here, you know? They want to make things right with you, Virgo, but you're just like, yeah, no, I'm okay. Thanks. Thank you. I'm okay. Um, tell me more about the Ace of Cups. Oh, Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. We have the Four of Pentacles. We got the Seven of Pentacles. We got the Knight of Wands. And then we also have the Star. I do see this person eventually taking action in your direction. And I feel like it's because this person knows that they can't expect you to take action in their direction. Especially with the energy that you're kind of sitting in right now. Uh, you're not budging. This is an energy of you sticking to your guns here and sticking to this decision that you recently made here. You know, as far as like, you know, kicking this person out of your life is concerned and keeping your distance from them is concerned. They kind of feel like the only way to turn this entire situation around between you and them would require them to take action in your direction and heal things here with you and fix and repair things here with you because they know you're not going to do it. The bottom of the deck we do have the five of swords and then we also have the moon virgo something happened here between you and this person um it could have been a really big fight could have been a really big argument it could have been a betrayal uh with the moon coming out here this could definitely represent secrets something clearly happened here to cause you to feel like you can't trust them like you have to keep your distance from them okay um, and like i said it could have been a betrayal it could have been that you found out that this person was keeping, you know, a lot of secrets from you, regardless of what actually caused, you know, this separation to occur here between you and this person. You're now kind of sitting in this energy of feeling like you can't really trust this person. 
And maybe just maybe you shouldn't be surrounding yourself with them. But like I said, they do want to make things right here between you and them. They absolutely hate the fact that there's so much tension right now between you and them. They absolutely hate the fact that you are like distancing yourself from them and you don't want to talk to them or even be around them. They absolutely hate it. And I do see them trying here to make things right here with you. Um, and I do see them taking action in your direction. Um, but it just kind of looks like you're just choosing to kind of stick to your guns here at this point. Like no is no. You know what I mean? Um, I just feel like you're having a very difficult time moving past whatever it is that they said and or did to cause you to kind of feel like, yeah, uh, I got to keep my distance from them. Um, you're having a very difficult time making peace with it. You're having a very difficult time moving past it. Uh, so with that being said, it kind of looks like you're choosing to kind of stick to your guns here, Virgo, but they're going to try. I'll give them that. You know, I feel like they're going to try to heal and repair things here with you. I just don't feel like they're going to get too far because your mind is basically made up. Your mind is basically made up when it comes down to them. All right. So that's what I have for you, Virgo. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye. Hello, Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And welcome to your reading. Let's see who's coming towards you within the month of January 2024. Who's coming towards Taurus? All right. So we have the King of Pentacles. We got the Four of Wands. We also have the Two of Pentacles to the Two of Swords. As well as the Seven of Pentacles to the Four of Pentacles. And then we also have the Hermit. With this Two of Swords energy, this is interesting because I kind of feel like somebody's trying to get a hold of you. And whoever this person is that's trying to get a hold of you, it's somebody that you're currently deciding to ignore. Yeah, it kind of looks like you kind of made your mind up here about a specific person, okay? Now, this person could be anybody. They could be a family member. They could be a friend. Um, they could be an ex-lover. They could be a coworker. Honestly, this person could be anybody. But it kind of looks like you recently decided to sever ties here with someone um, and keep a lot of distance here between you and someone in particular. I feel like your mind is basically made up here about at least one person in particular okay i do want to look at the two of swords because i feel like somebody's trying to get a hold of you so let's look at the two of swords okay more about the two of swords We have the lovers, we have the ace of wands, and then we also have the eight of cups, but it came out in the reverse and it feels right to take it in the reverse. Whoever this person is that's trying to get a hold of you, um, it is somebody who's having a very, very difficult time getting over you, which is kind of making me feel like this is somebody that you were once upon a time romantically involved with. It kind of looks like for whatever reason, your relationship with this person was shortly lived considering the fact that we have the ace of wands, the lovers, I do believe your relationship with this person, uh, was very, very shortly lived. In other words, I don't feel like you were with this person for a long period of time or anything like that. It just kind of looks like your relationship with this person was shortly lived. But even though this relationship between you and this person was shortly lived, I feel like they developed a lot of emotions for you so it doesn't look like you were with this person for a long period of time maybe you were dealing with this person for like less than five months if that you know what i mean um point is is that i feel like this person did develop a lot of emotion for you during the course of their involvement with you and like i said this person's trying to get a hold of you but it kind of looks like you're not interested Kind of looks like you're not interested in revisiting this connection here between you and this person currently at the moment i see you very very focused on your finances, your career, your growth, your expansion, you know, things of that nature. Uh, for some of you, there is a possibility that you could very well be connecting with someone else. If you're not connecting with someone else right now, it kind of looks like right now you're just very focused on your stability right now. Uh, with the Hermit to the uh, Two of Pentacles also too coming out here. Your mind is essentially made up here when it comes down to this person resurfacing back up here for you. You're just not interested in revisiting this connection here between you and them. And it kind of looks like you're making it a priority to kind of keep your distance here from this person, but also give them the cold shoulder as well. So when this person does reach out to you, whether it's through email, text, phone call, I just don't see you responding back to them. I don't see you feeding into this entire situation. Let's look at the Eight of Cups in the reverse. Tell me more about the Eight of Cups in the reverse. We have the Ace of Pentacles. We got the Three of Wands. And then we also have the High Priestess. Interesting. Oh, I kind of feel bad for them. This person kind of looks at you as somebody who just kind of kept it moving. Okay. Uh, they kind of look at you as somebody who just kind of kept it moving. 
okay? We have the Eight of Swords, we have the Fool, and then we also have the uh, Ten of Swords. It kind of looks like you were the one that kind of initiated this ending here between you and them. This person just kind of looks like you have somebody who just kind of, you know, cut them off and just kind of kept it moving. Um, and they kind of feel some type of way about it. They kind of feel some type of way about that. Um, now keep in mind the Eight of Swords to the Ten of Swords, that creates a Two of Swords at play, uh, which we already have out here, which is kind of making me feel like, you know, you were the one that initiated this ending here. But I feel like at times they find themselves really questioning, like, how could you do that? Like, how could you possibly do that? Like, how could you possibly cut them out of your life and just kind of keep it moving as if they never meant absolutely anything to you? Is kind of what I'm getting. It kind of looks like the moment this relationship came to an end here between you and this person, not only do you turn around and give this person the cold shoulder, but I feel like you immediately shifted your focus onto your future, your finances, your career, the things that you want to accomplish and achieve for yourself. It's kind of what I'm getting, but they are coming back around your way. They are definitely coming back around your way all over again. And it is stemming from a place of them kind of feeling um, like they're not ready, you know what I mean, to move forward and move on with their life. They're not ready to like, you know, end things, I would say, between you and them. They're not ready to call it quits here. They're not ready to end things here between you and them. They're still very much so emotionally attached to you is like the best way that I can describe this person's overall energy. So they're coming back around your way, but I kind of feel like once they do come back around your way, um, I just, I just don't feel like they're going to get the outcome that they want because your mind is basically made up. It's not you know, a connection that you want to revisit. And you might communicate that to them. You may not. You know, I kind of feel like the vast majority of you may not even decide to even respond to this person, to be honest. So, yeah, that's what I have for you, Taurus. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye. Hello, Sagittarius. So I'm rising in Venus. And welcome to your reading. Let's see who's coming towards you within the month of January 2024. Who's coming towards Sagittarius? Who's coming towards Sagittarius? Mm. Oof. Okay. So we have the Tower. We have the uh, Ace of Swords. Oh, man. With the Ten of Swords. We also have the Eight of Swords. With the Page of Swords. And then we also have the Lovers. I kind of feel bad for whoever this person is. Um, let's talk, okay? It kind of looks like things... Um, recently came to an end here between you and this person Sagittarius you could have been the one to initiate this ending or maybe they were regardless of whoever initiated this ending here with who first right things came to an end here Sag between you and this person now currently at the moment um, I don't feel like this person is taking this ending here between you and them so well I really don't. For the life of me, I don't feel like this person's taking this ending between you and them so well. Um, I kind of feel like this person also, too, is somebody who's still very much so keeping tabs on you. It's like this person's, like, curious to, like, you know, to know, like, what you're currently up to. Are you seeing someone new? Are you not seeing someone new? Are you still hung up on them? Are you not hung up on them? Um, but I feel like this person is finding out somehow, some way that you've already moved on with your life. And I kind of feel like it's just going to make this whole process of them moving forward and moving on with their life and getting over you that much more challenging and that much more difficult. Um, this person's really in their head about what it is that they are basically stumbling across. This person is finding out somehow, some way that you're talking to somebody new or that you're seeing someone new. How? I have no, I have no idea. Maybe, I don't know, you posted a picture of you and your new boo on social media. Like that's definitely a possibility. It's definitely a possibility. Or maybe they're catching wind that you're currently dating someone new or seeing someone new by a mutual friend. Regardless of how this person's finding out that you're talking to someone new, you're talking to somebody new, right? And they're finding all of this out. And it's causing them to really question absolutely everything. It's causing them to question, man, like, do they really love me? Do they really care about me? Look at them. They're already moving on with their life. Look at them. They're already talking to someone new. Like I said, it kind of looks like when this ending occurred here between you and them, they were already taking it hard. For them to find out that you're talking to someone else and that you're moving forward and moving on with your life it's just gonna be you know a massive blow to the chest it's like the best way that i can describe you know what this person's experiencing here on their behalf let's look at the page of swords
We have the um, Seven of Cups. We got the Knight of Wands. And then we also have the Wheel of Fortune. Mm. Yeah. So somehow, some way, Saggy, this person's finding out that you're talking to someone new or you're dating someone new or you're just outright exploring your options. Like I said, they kind of feel some type of way about the way that you're kind of living your life now that the two of you are no longer together it's like this person looks at you as somebody who basically had no issues with moving forward and moving on with your life and basically forgetting about them and what you once upon a time had with them that's kind of how they basically look at you and they kind of feel some type of way about it i guess this person i guess this person saggy was like expecting for you to take this ending as hard as you know they're currently taking it and the fact that we don't really see you taking this ending so hard um causes them to kind of feel some type of way and it causes them to kind of question absolutely everything um the fact that they kind of look at you as somebody who just kind of kept them moving like yeah it does kind of cause them to kind of feel some type of way because it kind of looks like the furthest thing from their mind is talking to someone new or dating someone new like that's literally the furthest thing from their mind you know in in how do i say this through their perspective right they feel like they just lost the love of their life so no they don't want to start talking to anybody new no they don't want to start dating anybody new like so they were just kind of expecting i'm assuming that you would kind of take this ending as hard as they're currently taking it and we don't see you taking it hard whatsoever we just don't um you know as far as they're concerned they just kind of look at you as somebody who just kind of kept it moving what can Sagittarius expect from this person? <sighs> okay, so we have the Queen of Cups. We got the Four of Pentacles. Uh, we have the Seven of Pentacles, and then we also have the Nine of Swords. <laughs> All right, so Sag, I don't really see this person taking action in your direction whatsoever. Um, I don't. It kind of looks like this person's choosing to kind of just keep their distance from you. But like I said, you got somebody who's clearly not taking this ending between you and them so well. They don't appreciate the fact that you just kind of kept it moving and started dating someone new or seeing someone new. They really don't appreciate that. Um, like I said, it causes them to really question, did you even love them? Did you care about them? Um, or did you not? Because like I said, the furthest thing from this person's mind is dating someone new or seeing someone new like they're they're still kind of going through the process of grieving the loss of you so the last thing they want to do is date someone new or see someone new um but i am kind of getting like an overall energy of them kind of feeling foolish okay an energy of them feeling foolish um they kind of feel a little bit foolish is kind of what i'm getting because they feel like they invested all this time and energy towards um you and the fact that you kind of just kind of kept it moving in the end as if like you know this relationship didn't you know mean anything to you caused them to kind of feel some type of way now i'm not saying that this relationship never meant anything to you um we're just going based off of you know according to them and how they feel but it's not to say that you never cared about this person or your relationship with this person they just kind of feel like you never really cared about them or loved them in the ways that they did um mainly because you just kept it moving is kind of what i'm getting but i'm not saying that you never cared about them or you never loved them or anything like that um I'm not saying that they just kind of think that you never loved them or cared about them because of the simple fact that you basically kind of kept it um moving is kind of what i'm getting here uh from this person in particular that they feel like you just kind of kept it moving um they feel like you didn't really you know care about them because you kind of kept it moving the fact that you took this ending so well is causing them to feel like they never really loved me they never really cared about me because if they did you know they wouldn't be taking this ending so well and look at them they're out here living their best life look at them they're out here talking to such and such now look at them they're out here living their best life as if this ending never occurred between the two of us like that's just kind of how they're perceiving this entire situation but as far as like them extending themselves to you you know i don't see them extending themselves to you I don't. Um, I don't. I see them, you know, choosing to kind of just, you know, keep their distance from you is kind of what I'm getting. Um, but they do kind of feel some type of way, sadly, that you kind of kept it moving. All right. So that's what I have for you. Hopefully the reading helps. Hopefully it resonated. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye. Hello, Leo, Summon Rising and Venus, and welcome to your reading. Let's see who's coming towards you within the month of January 2024. Who's coming towards Leo, Summon Rising and Venus? 
So it's coming towards Leo, someone rising in Venus. Ooh, okay. So it's coming towards Leo, someone rising in Venus for the month of January 2024. Hmm, okay. I want to really start off with the uh, Ace of Wands to the Three of Wands. That creates a Four of Wands at play, which basically represents unity between two people. It could also speak of marriage. Um, there's somebody here who really does want to be with you. However, with the Nine of Swords to the uh, Two of Pentacles coming out here, even though, yes, I'm kind of getting this overall energy of somebody really wanting to be with you, Leo, I kind of feel like they're a little bit too fearful, I would say, to kind of go there with you. It's like this person has this massive fear that if they were to like fully go there with you, that it's just going to end up backfiring in their face they're just going to end up getting hurt and disappointed in the end which is obviously something that they would love to avoid from happening but you got somebody here who's really really interested in you you got someone here um that is currently at the moment making you their main focus slash priority however i kind of feel like even though, yes, I can tell this person's making you their main focus slash priority, even though, yes, I can tell this is somebody who really does want to be with you, I feel like they're a little bit too fearful to go there out of fear that it's just going to blow up in their face. Let's look at the uh, Nine of Swords. Tell me more about the Nine of Swords. It's like this person constantly finds themselves questioning whether or not it's safe for them to kind of go there with you. You know what's interesting though is that I feel like you have already proven yourself to this person. Like I feel like you've proven to this person that you're very, very serious about them. I feel like you've proven to them that you're very committed and devoted to them in this relationship that you currently share with them. Um, so with the Eight of Swords and the Nine of Swords coming out here for this person, um, I, I don't really know why this is showing up to be completely honest because I feel like you've already kind of proved you know, yourself to this person. You've already proved to this person that you mean well. You've already proved to this person that you're very loyal and committed and devoted to them and what you guys currently have going on here. So as to why this person's getting the uh, Eight of Swords to the Nine of Swords is kind of beyond me because I don't feel like you've ever given this person a reason to basically doubt you is kind of what I'm getting. Um, yeah, that's kind of what I'm getting here. Let's look at the Eight of Swords. There's just a lot of overthinking here on this person's behalf. Time more about the Eight of Swords. Okay, so we have the Ten of Wands. We also have the Hermit, and then we also have the Ace of Swords. This is interesting. It kind of looks like all this person needs to really do is just accept their situation with you for what it is and stop making things more complicated than what it needs to be. Like I said, I feel like you've proven yourself to this human, okay? I feel like you've shown this person that you're very committed and devoted to them and what you guys currently share with one another. Um, I feel like, you know, since the two of you basically started with one another, you've been taking them in this relationship with them very, very seriously. And I feel like that's just something that they just kind of need to accept already, that they have somebody who's very committed and loyal and devoted to them. They just need to accept that already and stop making things more complicated than what it needs to be. What's the outcome here between Leo and this person? What's the outcome here? All right, so we do have the High Priestess. We also have the Ten of Cups, and then we also have the Fool. I feel like this person's intuition is also kind of giving them the green light here when it comes down to you. It's like this person's intuition is telling them, just go for it. Just go for it, just go for it, just go for it. But... It kind of looks like this person's allowing their mind to kind of get the best of them in this entire situation. It's like they're allowing their own doubts and their own reservations and their own fears and, the own, and their own what if this happens and what if that happens really get the best of them um, in this relationship. But like I said, I just, I kind of feel like you've already kind of proved yourself to this person. You've proved to them that you're loyal. You've proved to them that you are trustworthy. You've proved to them that you are somebody that they can rely on and depend on. You've already proven to this person that you are very, very serious about them. I mean, like what else do they want at this point, right? I say this a lot in my readings. I don't think that it's a good idea that we go based off of what our mind is telling us to do or what our heart is telling us to do. I think that we should all kind of go based off of what our intuition um, is telling us to do because our mind and our heart 
has the ability to basically deceive us. But one thing that will never deceive us is our intuition. If your intuition is saying, go for it, go for it, go for it, freaking go for it. You know what I mean? But the problem is with this person is that their mind, right? Their mind is telling them, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. It's not safe. It's not safe. And I kind of feel like their heart is telling them just to go for it, just to go for it, just to go for it. So they don't really know if they should trust what their mind is telling them to do or what their heart is telling them to do. I personally think that none of us should rely on what our heart wants us to do or what our mind wants us to do. I think that we should all rely on what our intuition wants us to do because our intuition is always going to guide us in the right direction. I feel like if they were to take a chance on you um, and this relationship that they currently share with you, they won't regret it. However, this entire situation does kind of require them to kind of accept their situation for what it is. They just need to accept the fact that they have a good thing and, and stop overthinking it already. But it kind of looks like that in itself is a hard thing for this person to accept. That they actually have a really good thing and that they actually have someone by their side that they don't have to worry about. It's a very difficult thing for this person to do is just accept the fact that they have a good thing. Out of fear that if they were to turn around and accept the fact that they have a good thing, that they'll be proven later on down the line that, you know, they're right all along, right? About you. Let me look a little bit more into this king. Can I more about the king of swords? Okay. So you have the king of wands. We also have the hero font with the eight of cups and then we also have the eight of wands listen this king that you currently find yourself connecting with this is somebody who's definitely thinking long term here when it comes down to you this person could even be thinking of marriage when it comes down to you this is somebody who does want to pursue you and higher levels of commitment with you all right nothing's really stopping this person outside of their own doubts and their own reservations and their own what if this happens and what if that happens outside of that nothing's really stopping this person from experiencing this with you but their own doubts, their own reservations, and their own fears and stuff like that. I feel like spirit just wants them to stop entertaining these negative thoughts already and just go off and be happy with you and stop allowing this whole what if this happens or what if that happens get in the way. The Eight of Cups, by the way, always goes to the Ten of Cups. They could very well be able to experience this ten of cups like energy with you but it does kind of require them to take a chance it does kind of require them to take a risk it does kind of require them to just kind of go there and forget about the whole but what if this happens or what if that happens you know and they also just need to accept the fact that they have a good thing again because i feel like spirit has been trying to get this person to see that they honestly have a good thing right in front of them it just kind of looks like they just don't want to believe it or they just don't want to accept it but it kind of looks like they just kind of should accept it already because they're making this entire situation far more complicated than what it needs to be this person has what we all basically want somebody who's going to take us seriously somebody who's going to be as loyal and committed and devoted um as you are to them in this relationship that you guys share here with one another in other words this person hit the jackpot with you i think that they just need to stop overthinking it already and stop stressing them out uh, stressing themselves out and worrying about but what if this happens and what if that happens they just need to kind of accept the fact that they just have a good thing and just call it a day you know what i mean so yeah that's what i have for you leo hopefully the reading helped hopefully it resonated and i will see you guys in your next reading bye hello aries so i'm rising and venus and welcome to your reading so aries we're gonna see who's coming towards you within the month of january 2024 who's coming towards aries within the month of january 2024 oh very nice aries okay I'm kind of curious who this King of Wands is. This King of Wands actually landed on the Queen of Pentacles. I am going to look at this uh, King of Wands in a minute, but we have the King of Wands to the Queen of Pentacles. We also have the Magician to the Three of Pentacles, as well as the Nine of Cups. And then we also have the King of Pentacles. It is a true pair situation here between you and this um, King of Pentacles. Regardless of everybody's gender involved, nothing's gender specific here. We all have masculine and feminine energy within us. You know what's interesting, Aries, is that I feel like currently at the moment you're connecting with a King of Wands-like energy, and I feel like very soon you're about to meet somebody of your caliber, somebody who basically brings just as much to the table as you do, and whoever this person is, it's somebody who's really, really interested in you. 
okay this could very well be a friend of yours or co-worker of yours or somebody new that you could very well be meeting very very soon but whoever this king of pentacles is like i said it's somebody of your caliber um it's somebody who brings just as much to the table as you do uh but with the three of pentacles to the uh, nine of cups coming out here I do see the two of you developing a friendship with one another. I'm not getting like a romantic situation though between you and this person happening. I just kind of see you guys developing like a friendship here with one another. This is somebody who's going to realize very, very early on Aries that you do have a lot that they're basically looking for within a person. However, I just don't see it getting to a romantic level between you and this person. If anything, I see you guys developing a friendship with one another, but don't don't get this wrong you know this king of pentacles is very very interested in you i just don't see you taking it there with them and i don't see them taking it there with you and it could have a lot to do with the fact that there's a king of wands currently in the mix okay maybe this king of pentacles knows about it or maybe you told this king of pentacles that you're currently connecting with a king of wands okay let's look at this king of wands can i move with this king of wands We have the uh, Justice card, we have the Star, and then we also have the uh, Six of Wands. Whoever this, this this King of Wands is, I do believe it is somebody that you're either married to or currently in a committed relationship with. But this King of Wands basically feels like they hit the jackpot with you. They feel like they hit the jackpot with you. This person does view you as somebody who basically has everything that they're looking for within a person and then some. In other words, I feel like you've exceeded this person's expectations. I really want to look at this Queen of Pentacles. I feel like this Queen of Pentacles is you. Tell me more about the Queen of Pentacles. All right, so we do have the Nine of Swords. We have the Ten of Cups as well as the... Um, eight of pentacles um it kind of looks like lately you've been under a lot of stress and it could be due to work it could very well be due to you know family matters but i feel like you have been under stress as of lately but i feel like it has a lot to do with work and it has a lot to do with family or your home environment but outside of that it kind of looks like you are currently romantically involved here with this king of wands it's just interesting because you clearly have a king of pentacles that's really, really interested in you. And like I said, the only thing that I see you guys really developing with one another is like a friendship. Nothing more, nothing less. Now, for some of you, you could have already... Um, you could have already have met this king of pentacles. For others of you, you're going to find yourself meeting them very, very soon. Let's look at this uh, king of pentacles. Time more with the king of pentacles. All right, so we do have the chariot. We also have the empress, and then we also have the uh, queen of wands. This is interesting. It makes sense as to why I didn't get anything like happening here between you and this person in a romantic sense, because it kind of looks like you're currently involved with someone, and so are they. It's interesting, though, because I feel like, how do I say this? I feel like you're connecting with someone Aries that, how do I say this? How do I say this? How do I say this? It's interesting because I feel like the both of you are connecting with, with, with people that you're not entirely compatible with, okay? Because this person is definitely involved here with someone, but it's not with somebody that they're compatible with. And you're kind of involved here with someone, but it's not someone that you're compatible with. It's kind of what I'm getting. It's interesting because I feel like you and this king, you guys feel so drawn to one another. You guys definitely do mesh very well with one another. Um, you guys actually have a lot of things in common with one another. You guys are actually very compatible to one another. You guys keep showing up as a true pair to one another. We have the empress. And for those of you who do not know this, the person that's actually in the chariot is the emperor. You guys are very compatible to one another. And like I said, you guys feel very drawn to one another but as far as like the two of you like you know establishing a romantic relationship with one another is concerned i just don't see that happening and i feel like it has a lot to do with well your current situation and their current situation but the two of you nonetheless feel absolutely drawn to one another absolutely drawn to one another let's look at the magician let's look at the magician interesting time around with the magician Oof. 
We have the lovers, we have the page of cups, we have the five of pentacles, and then we also have the emperor. There goes the emperor. Um, I feel like this emperor is definitely thinking about leaving this queen of wands that they currently find themselves romantically involved with, okay? And it's mainly because, and the, and listen, this, this tends to happen quite a bit. Typically when an emperor gets involved with a queen of wands, just like when an empress gets involved with um, a king of wands, they always tend to feel like this at some point throughout the course of their relationship uh, with that person. They tend to feel like, how do I say this? They tend to feel like they're not really getting everything that they truly want out of that relationship. In other words, they feel like they're lacking. Um, so with that being said, I'm not surprised that the Five of Pentacles came out because I feel like within this dynamic that they share here with this Queen of Wands, uh, they kind of feel like they're lacking in this relationship. They kind of feel like they're not really getting everything that they truly want and desire out of this connection here with this Queen of Wands. And maybe for some of you, you might feel that way with this King of Wands that you currently find yourself connected with but this emperor is definitely thinking about leaving this 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 queen of wands because there's somebody here that they would like to go off and pursue but it's someone that they feel like they're very very compatible to which is basically you and they could very well be you know communicating this to you that they're thinking about leaving um this queen of wands to go off and pursue you in a relationship with you the bottom of the deck we do have the three of swords we also have the page of pentacles as well as the uh judgment card yeah this this emperor is definitely thinking about leaving and it kind of looks like they've been thinking about this for quite some time now um but they're definitely thinking about leaving this queen of wands that they currently find themselves romantically involved with and like i said it's mainly because they're an emperor and they're dealing with a king of wands you know i never actually seen an emperor uh last too long with a queen of wands just like i've never seen an empress last too long with a king of wands it's just i i i I don't think that I've ever actually seen it um, ever, honestly, in a reading before. And it's mainly because an emperor is always looking for their empress, just like an emperor is always looking for their emperor. Uh, typically, when they get involved with like a king of wands slash, you know, queen of wands like energy, they always feel like they're lacking. They basically kind of feel like they're settling for less is basically what it is. Um, so with that being said, um, this emperor over here feels like they are kind of settling for less while continuing to involve themselves here with this queen of wands. Um, and with that being said, now that this person's kind of meeting you, you're kind of opening this person's eyes and causing this person to kind of realize that what they truly want for themselves actually does exist and it kind of looks like you're kind of proving that to them and it's just because you just so happen right to have a lot that they're looking for within a person it's like this person basically thought to themselves that they would never find someone like you ever in their life so they might as well just kind of settle for this one over here but the fact that they're kind of realizing you know that you do have a lot that they're actually looking for within a person you're basically proving to them that what they truly want actually does exist it just kind of looks like currently at the moment they currently find themselves in the only situation because now they're involved here with this queen of wands and they're starting to kind of realize that they don't really want to be with this queen of wands this relationship between the two of them causes them to kind of feel like they're settling for less like they're really lacking and they're not really getting what it is that they truly want and desire out of this connection but like i said you're really proving to this person that what they truly want actually does exist is kind of what i'm getting like i said this this emperor might even go as far as to tell you that they're thinking about leaving um this queen of wands now they may not tell you that the reason why they're doing it is because they're truly interested in you and for some they might even go as far as to tell you all of that but it kind of looks like this emperor doesn't want to be with this queen of wands anymore it kind of looks like they much rather you know get to know you and build a relationship with you because they look at you as somebody that they're very compatible with <sighs> okay this i don't think i've ever seen this in a reading but i feel like you're already involved here with someone and so are they um but like i said i mean this is somebody that you do feel drawn to aries but it doesn't look like the two of you have ever acted on you know how do i say this it kind of looks like you know even though yes it's somebody that you feel drawn to and you know they feel absolutely drawn to you and though you might find them physically attractive and they might find you physically attractive it kind of looks like you guys never really acted upon how you guys really really feel about one another and it has a lot to do with the fact that you guys are currently involved with someone at the moment is kind of what i'm getting but yeah that's what i have for you aries hopefully the reading helped hopefully it resonated and i will see you guys in your next reading bye